Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Vian and today I'm here to talk about the Draconic Rage coming soon, which is up here under the events and it basically gives us some information. So the new Draconic Rage Battle Pass campaign is coming soon. Battle Pass XP can be earned from random queues. Uh, random dungeon, random advanced, random skirmish, random trial. I'm assuming that there's going to be quests. However, if we look at the Echoes of Prophecy here, it actually outlines that you can do quests and daily dungeons. So for the new battle pass, whether you can do quests or not remains to it remains unseen. But I have a little issue with this. Cryptic don't seem to be making a smart move. Again. Same old, same old. But anyway. How many people farm Volta Stars? How many people farm Tower of the Mad Mage. How many people from Crown of Keldegon? My point is, people aren't just doing random queues. Why would you not have it so any dungeon can give us Battle Pass XP? Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, because we'll complete it too quick. Okay, fair enough, we'll complete it very quick. Because it's not just end game, it's I only outline the end game dungeons. What about people farming, <clears throat> well I wouldn't say farming, but there's people who like doing gauntlets. What a gauntlet is, is you go to the queues and you essentially go down and do every single queue. I've done this many times and it is really fun. Uh, I'll go from from Karandax all the way down, do all the epic queues all the way down to Lost Mouth and it's really fun. It's a good thing to do if you're with a party of friends. And yeah, it's really in, in, enjoyable. Can't even get my words out. But if we look at the adventures here, and we look at the campaigns, and we look at the Echoes of Prophecy here, we've only got four tiers. So why wouldn't they make it so we can do all the private queues for those of us who enjoy running dungeons and not just farming hunts all the time just to make ad because apparently that's how crypty want you to play the game they want you to make ad and play the auction house and all this stupid shit that doesn't matter why would you not have it so all of the private queues that we do give us battle pass xp it makes no sense because you've got people farming vault of stars and then we'll go to the trials here We've got people farming Tower of the Mad Mage. We've got people farming... I, f I think people are farming Cradle of Death God for some good rewards. Uh, maybe they're after some legendary insignias or whatever. You've got people farming Cr Crown of Caldagon. Um Maybe people are farming Rise of Tiamat so they can get Linus favours depending on what stage of Tyranny of Dragons campaign they're at. And also it's double Tyranny of Dragons currency. So they might be farming Tiamat. So... Why wouldn't they use this opportunity to actually include more tiers inside of the Battle Pass and instead of only getting the XP from randoms, because a lot of us only do the randoms until we get the rough AD and then the randoms are pretty much useless. So why would they not make it so every private dungeon gives us bonus xp to towards the battle pass and in turn because they're going to say we didn't want you to complete the battle fast so quick so why not just add more tiers so let's say let's have a look at the xp here so we've got the draconic okay so we've got 175 and 150 which is 325 so let's say you do the daily dungeon daily trial and you get your rough AD and you get, let's just say, 300 points towards the battle pass. Within 10 days, let's have a look at the tiers again here. I don't know if the tiers are going to be the same. I assume they are. But let's look again. Uh, Echoes of Prophecy. So we've got 1,000. And then the max is 4,000. So if we're getting 300 a day, 10 days in, we've got 3,000. So it's not like it's taking a while to even complete necessarily. So why wouldn't they add more tiers? And also, 
it feels like they're limiting us again. They limit us with having a rough AD cap when rough AD shouldn't be in the game. And now the then when it comes to the battle pass system, it makes no sense to me. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This makes no sense. They definitely need to add more tiers and they definitely need to make it so any dungeon that we do adds on to that battle pass XP. That's what I think. I think it'll increase player retention. People will be farming dungeons, you know. A lot of people just log on, get the rough AD, log off, and that's it. Um, yeah, it just doesn't promote player retention. So I think they should change it. They should add more tiers. And they should also add the fact that private, any private dungeon or any public dungeon, a lot of people don't do public dungeons, but any private dungeon that people do, whether you're early game and you do one of the easier dungeons, mid game, you do one of the mid tier, or end game and you do an end game, it should give us that battle pass XP. I don't think Cryptic have used the brains on this one. Let me know what you think down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new, you want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.